Bro, I swear to God, you're like a bridge troll with this game. Every time I pop it in, this 2011 game, I want to play a nice game of fight night. I got this guy who's not going to fight, who's just going to sit back on the ropes and make a bad fight, just sitting there like a bridge troll in fight night. You're insecure, man. Like, don't brag about your little channel. You're bragging about your little channel, man, on your burner account. Like, you're a clown, bro. Who has two accounts to play fight night? Are you kidding me? I only have two accounts to do checking. It's over, you punk bitch. Next time you're going to learn proper boxing etiquette, you You suck. You can't do shit. So glad you're with us, Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and we welcome you to the Metro Manila Arena. We're here in the Philippines for a much-anticipated main event. Ten rounds in the middleweight division. We are looking forward to this fight, especially after oh, seeing well, what happened well, at the well, weigh-in well. yesterday. A stare well, down well. that nearly resulted in a breakdown. Now they get to Buddy. do real. Aim on this one. Aim on this one. Yeah, I on this one. You might not remember me, but I remember you. I've been waiting on this one. Well, it gets to know you here in the opening round, scheduled for 10. Two snapping jabs by Oscar De La Hoya. Don't even look dip like that. You look corny, bro. You look like you're dressed to go to the fucking mall, bro. You look like shit. Like this of speed versus speed. Or maybe one guy can go and utilize a completely different tool, like try to be a power puncher on a given night, or do something ultra defensively that can be an advantage. Yeah, misdirection. You know, the guy's going to be real keen, both guys, because they know they have somebody who's so fast in front of them. So start one hand. He's going to be looking. He's going to react. Start the right hand, just a little flinch to the right hand. Uh, I remember the left you. hand is bro. Like, you can't find the front foot. So, I like, fuck it. We're just gonna sit 10 rounds like this then. Hey, you think you're some fucking Fight Night God? You've been playing since 20... 2006 or whatever you've been playing. Fight Night Round. Coming upon that halfway mark of this three minute round. round. Good block by David Hoyer. 
Trinidad, Mosley, Hopkins, Mayweather. They all topped the Golden Boy. What was missing from Oscar De La Hoya where he could have come out on top in those accounts? You know, that's part of his legacy. And that's a great question because part of his legacy he's made more money than all these great fighters maybe almost put together. I mean, that's how much money he's made, but he's lost just about all of his big fights. Mentally, it's in the mental dimension. It's not in the physical dimension. Where he's been in those kind of fights, he hasn't made adjustments. You know, he found a way to lose instead of a way to win. He he found a way to compromise himself, to undermine himself. Good volume punching to the body there. Locks away that headshot. Seconds to go here in the second round. And we come to the end of it. And round number three is underway. Took a go of it to the body, but came up empty. Punching is working well here. Not able to connect with the uppercut. That's a good left hand by Sugar Ray Leonard. Round here. Carries that punch intended for the head. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. Trying to erode away that body with the combination punching. Come on, punch! what happens when you have that kind of experience you're calm enough to know that range know where the beginning of the punch and the end of the punch is and the round comes to an end three rounds in the books Dave Hoyas in control Teddy he's up with a clean sweep on your scorecard yeah and I like the way he's doing it you know he's making the guy come to him he's making a miss and he's scoring all the clean punches Teddy, you've made the point a few times that, hey, it's nice to have something where you got the superior advantage. In this case, he's got the speed. But you can't fall in love with it too much. No, because what happens then, you're like a teenager that gets one of those sport cars. You know, he gets one of those, he doesn't even respect the speed yet. And he starts to run red light, starts to do things that he should not do. And that's what's happening here. He's trying to jump in with those quick hands. He figures he doesn't have to respect the dimensions other guys have to. And when he's jumping in, he nice. might get caught. There nice. might be a cop there, or a punch there, to nail him. <laughs> into the body with the left and then going up top with the right 90 seconds to go in round number four. Oh, and he returns fire with the left hand work the body work the body kid that's right body, shoot, body. That'll always excite a crowd, and that's that, that straight hand, that power shot. You can see it coming, 
And there it is. Well, he must be pretty happy that he's got an opponent that throws all wide, all round punches, because straight beats round. This has been a... Another round underway, but how many more will we see? You get the sense this fight could be heading towards a stoppage. <laughs> No, you're absolutely right. So you the halfway point of round number six. A crushing two-punch combo by Oscar De La Hoya. Missed body shot. Here's one for you now, he says. Right back with the left hand. Teddy, what would you recommend based on what we're seeing here tonight? Well, two aspirin and then... Oh, no, actually, I would say a little punching just what the doctor ordered that's a better prescription for me. that is boxing 101 a nice crisp combination by sugar ray Leonard.
punch combo by Sugar Ray Leonard. He's staying away from those headshots in his defense up top. Just misses with that headshot. Halfway through the seventh round. Leonard's wanting to counterpunch here. But that doesn't seem the route to go here in this fight, Teddy. No, he has to be honest with himself to see that big. You know, people on the pressure in all walks of life, you know, especially you see it right away. You, you kind of peek at it right away. It's obvious. Maybe, maybe he doesn't want to see what he has to see because then he would have to be with himself. Then he would have to make the change. Maybe he just wants to leave it this way. At the end of the day, people are going to say, oh, that guy's poor kind of fight that, you know, hard to fight with, you know, and he has an excuse. Maybe that's what's going on right now. You know, what do you have to say for yourself, bitch? You've been talking all that shit at the beginning of the fight only to be getting your ass whooped damn near every round except for one lucky punch. And I know you felt good about that, but I'm going to feel even better after the scorecards is over with because we all know who won this fight, pussy. So you need to keep your fucking mouth shut, bitch. And stop talking all that shit and learn how to box your flaming That's what I thought. Keep your fucking mouth shut, bitch.
travel, they have a better chance of getting to that elusive target. You want to win this? Do you really want to win this? Then keep working. Keep working. Yeah, you let you better learn proper boxing etiquette, you bitch. Oh, they're talking all that big shit at the beginning of the fight. Do what? Get your ass work. You it's over. It's over, you punk bitch. Next time you're gonna learn proper boxing etiquette. You, you suck. You can't do shit. Yeah, bitch. What's wrong, bitch? Huh? What was all that big shit you was talking at the beginning of the fight? Huh? What was all that big shit you was talking about? Look at you. You can't even finish the job. It's over. You had all the lucky luck in the world and you still couldn't knock me down. Bitch. <laughs> bitch. Get the fuck off my dick, bitch. Don't ever try to get on the microphone and disrespect a god like that, you punk bitch. Or else, you know, I'm gonna <laughs> you and I'm gonna Punk, bitch. Get the fuck out of my ring before I come find your carcass and bury you in the desert, you bitch. I'm a motherfucking dude.